Here is an update on a story we brought you last month on Warner Robins hiring its first city administrator. The hiring of David Corbin raised some questions. How did Mayor Randy Toms hire a man who never actually applied for the job? And how could Mr. Corbin supervise the company he worked for and still works for while also drawing a salary from the city? Ashlyn Webb took a look at all the information. Here's what she found out in tonight's 13 Investigates. Mayor Randy Tom says David Corbin's job status has been a work in progress. Corbin never formally applied, and a week after he was on the job, the city of Warner Robins was still working out whether they'd be able to keep him as city administrator and also keep the contracted company he worked with. The Middle Georgia Regional Commission says they got 29 applications for the new post. Tom says the commission handed him a short list of six candidates. They all had government experience, and Tom says he highly considered at least three of those. But the job went to a person who was not on that short list and who was already working with the city. I guarantee you there was nobody in the list of people that submitted an, a, a resume for that position that were more qualified than David Corbin. Corbin is the managing director of Terminus, a company that provides financial advice to corporations, nonprofits, and government entities. They've had a contract with the city of Warner Robins since at least 2017. And at that point, they paid $1,000 a month for the company's services. Now Tom says they pay $120,000 a year. And so I said, David, you, do you want this job? And he explained to me the, the offers he had had, the offers he had turned down. Um, some in state, some not in state, some quite a distance away. And he said, but for the city of Warner Robins and you, Mr. Mayor, I'll do it. And so I, it just it threw me for a loop. But just a week after Corbin got the job, city officials, including Tom's, raised questions about the long term relationship with Corbin and Terminus. It's something that my attorney has had already contemplated. Um, is it is that going to work uh, long term? I mean, right now, uh -huh. we're, we're, we're ironing out the details of all of that and, you know, and it, it, listen, it, it may actually come down to if we say that we can't do both, um, then we may have to look elsewhere uh, for one or the other. But while trying to decide if the city could still work with Terminus now that they had hired Corbin, Warner Robbins was also trying to settle on Corbin's salary. The council agreed in March to pay Corbin through Terminus and set his salary at the same amount the city is paying him through Terminus, around $120,000 a year. The council also gave Corbin their blessing to continue working with Terminus, although the city administrator position is a full-time job. Since the city administrator is in charge of city finances and Terminus advises the city on finances, Corbin is still working for and being paid by the company that's supposed to be advising him. Do you think that you guys rushed into it? No, not really. I don't think we did because we were already doing it. I mean, that's what I think is being missed in this translation is, is that the, the, all the pieces were already in place and it was already there and nothing has changed, really. Um, nothing has changed. David has, has still been doing the work um, for his, his qualifications. I think we're getting a heck of a deal. Now, over a month after hiring Corbin as city administrator, Tom says the city made a decision to end their deal with Terminus. We're going to, um, at least for now, um, to see how it goes, we're going to drop the contract to, to zero with Terminus, and we're going to take the, the money that we've been um, spending on the Terminus contract and give it to Mr. Corbin. Mayor Tom says he and Corbin will discuss whether the city will enter back into an agreement with Terminus, but for now, Tom says they're focused on Corbin's new role as city administrator. Reporting with Warner Robins, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. David Corbin's had years of experience with local governments, including serving as the chief financial officer for the city of Atlanta between 1999 and 2002.